Hey, Cappy, you a good boy? You wanna come up in the Argo? Hey everyone, Cody here, and you're watching Owen Outdoors. This video is it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit different, right? Kelly and I, you know how we're having a baby, it's due in November. Uh, we've been saving money. Put money aside, because you got formula, you got diapers, and well, I took that money and I bought a tank. <laughs> I bought a freaking tank, guys. Uh, Kelly, she doesn't really know. I sent her this link uh, three days ago. It was a Facebook Marketplace listing. And um, yeah, I bought it. You know, I, I checked it out um, online. They did some videos, showed us around. It all runs good and I got it for a freaking good deal. I've been looking for an ATV, right? Like, for the longest time. A Suzuki King Quad, like 2,000, and I was expecting to pay like 1,000, 1,500 bucks. These guys want like three, four grand for it. I'm like, the thing's 21 years old, it's ready to break down. And we could do some kick butt videos with it. Um, this is what you can do with them. You can literally put an outboard motor on the back of them and they can be amphibious and you can take them in the lake. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it going on a busy day because one swamp, you know, one big boat could swamp you, but you can have bilge pumps if the water gets in. Anyways, um, I also needed it for my land, right? I got 110 acres and it's got a bit of grade to it. It's got swamp land and I just haven't been able to go on it because it's got trees and pricker bushes and you're in the thick of it and you just can't really walk, all right? And there's tons of poison ivy. This thing can mow down trees all day long. Kelly, she's gonna be, she's gonna push back, all right? She's gonna be pretty upset. Um, the guy is delivering it in like one to two hours. It's almost here. It was in Freedom, New York, nine hours away or nine, 10 hours away. And I was like, that's the biggest hurdle of getting it here. But I used like uship.com and the guy is just like gave me a great deal and it's already on its way. But I'm gonna stop talking. Let me, let me show you what this thing looks like and I'll show you the Facebook Marketplace listing. There she is. So it's got a roll cage on the side. It's got the fenders, right? You can run down trees all day long. Uh, that windshield looks like a do-it-yourself job. But I mean, it's only got 289 hours. That, that's a good bit of wear and tear, but the thing kind of looks mint, right? The seats have no tear. It's just a little dirty, but you know, it's like an ATV, so it gets dirty, right? It's got the winch, the roll cage. I'm probably gonna get some canvas for the side, right? And then the outboard motor, of course. Here's what it looks like with uh, the tracks on. So it came with the tracks, two extra tires, one with a rim, some spare parts. Dude, no brainer. I don't know if it's just me, but when I go on Facebook Marketplace, I'm messing into people about stupid stuff. Like I was messing with this guy, he had a three-wheeler. I don't need a freaking three-wheeler. I mean, maybe my kid does when he you know, grows up, he can ride that three-wheeler, be pretty cool. <laughs> Kelly isn't here right now, so I can't get her a reaction, but I will at the end of this video. I'm excited, but I, I don't know how to drive it. Um, I looked up some videos online and nobody really showed me, so um, I'm just gonna guess. You know, you probably put it in neutral, you turn it on, put it in reverse. But we've got some other good videos planned for this tank. Um, I cannot wait to tell you guys. I'll tell you in a moment after he gets here. Okay, so the tank is here. Um, let's take a look at it. No, there's a giant puddle. Oh no. This can go one of two ways. I've successfully got the water puddle. Now I just gotta dump it. We'll just let that dry off for a little bit. Okay, now it's time for the reveal. <laughs> boom, 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 let's go. Dude, I couldn't stop smiling last night. It got here pretty late, so I couldn't really show you guys. Um, but <laughs> I managed to figure out how to drive it. I took it for a little test drive, added a couple scratches on it. You know, I went in the woods. We've got the winch, headlights, man. Uh, this is not a snorkel or anything. It's actually for uh, a tip out glass, and this is where it would lay. Uh, this is the engine right down under here. Let's take a look. Okay, it looks pretty clean. But you can see that down there, that's a chain. Uh, this thing has a lot of chains. That's kind of what makes this thing move. So those all have to be oiled. 
Um, when I used it last night, it was a, definitely a bit squealy. Like not, not, not like a belt or anything, just um, I think just it needs to be greased. But it's a 20 horsepower Kawasaki. There's the brake fluid. I should probably check the brake fluid because this thing breaks a lot. You know, not like breaks down, but like that's how you turn it, right? So here's these two levers. Uh, you pull one back and it will start turning. You know, start turning right if you pull this one back. So you're constantly braking. These things don't turn. You're just slowing this side down to basically a stop. And then this side will continue and it will just kind of skid steer over, you know. I did notice two tires were kind of low. Yeah, this guy right here. I, I hope that one's fine. Now you can actually lower the tire pressure if you're going in certain areas. So you'll probably have flatter tires if you're going in sand, right? Yeah, that's how they do it in the dunes. You know, they have flatter tires and it helps them get some traction stuff. I can fit like three people in the front. Uh, this isn't like a seat or anything. That's probably where you can just rest some stuff. But this is a seat. This has some tears, I think. That's why they have the tape on it. Um, same thing on the other side. Uh, but I definitely need to make sure it's taped so it doesn't get moisture inside. So I was pretty much right about this windshield. It's a do-it-yourself job. It's definitely not the stock one that you know you get with Argo. And I don't know if the roll cage is stock or not. I mean, it definitely was added on afterwards. Um, I've seen outboard motor mounts with, um, the, this is a tow hitch, right? So you can tow things with it all day long. Uh, but it would come out from the tow hitch and it would come over here and there was another bar and bracket. Uh, but we got these rails along the side. Dude, this thing is so sweet. The tracks did come with it. I'm not gonna put them on today uh, just because it's a huge hassle. I would probably wanna have Peter here with me because you just need like two hands. All right, well, let's hop in. Now you always gotta make sure you don't, you don't hit this top. All right, here we go. Uh, so I think this is the winch. This is out. Oh, yep, that is definitely the winch. This button over here. I don't think I figured out what that was. It might actually be the bilge pump. That's the choke when you start it. I don't know what this is because this says winch, right? I think this can rev up the engine. This one's the lights. And I don't know what this guy does. But it's got a battery off switch, so if I want to start her up, I'll probably need to do that. So the throttle is actually just this grip. Uh, it is a little weird to get used to, so I'll have to practice a little bit with it. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll pull one of these back, or both of them back if you definitely want want to break so you got reverse you got neutral low and high hey cappy you good boy you want to come up in the argo so to get to do maintenance on this thing i gotta uh take this plastic thing off i don't think it's too hard to get out this thing has to come out so we're gonna take her for a little rip here i'll do the maintenance afterwards I, it'll run for now It's definitely a little different getting used to. Captain doesn't like it too much. So it says 289 hours, but it hasn't moved at all. And I've used it for over 10 minutes. So I'm definitely getting a little worried about that. Yeah, so all that trash, I don't know where it came from. This house has four acres, and I probably found about 100 bags of trash. There's like a business over there uh, behind the trees. I don't know if it came from that. Whoever it was, they like Green Mountain Coffee, Bud Light, and uh, they, they have a baby, so they have diapers. And this land has a bit of swamp too, so I get to explore this. Captain's like, I haven't been over here. I didn't know there was land to explore this way. All right, we're over it. Running this tree down too. No problem, baby. Woo! It's definitely a bit squeaky. See, when I do pivot it like that, it does eat up the ground. I mean, it doesn't matter because this is, you know, swamp out here or, you know, uncleared land but I don't want to do it up on my nice grass. But my grass isn't that nice. When I first got to the, got this house, it was like a barren wasteland. I've since grown a little bit of grass, so it looks kind of nice. Well, uh, I got it stuck. I think it's on a rock. There's like a big hump like right here. 
So the only tires that can move are the other ones. So I don't know, we'll keep trying it. I just put Captain inside. He wasn't doing too well in the Argo. I gotta get better at driving it. Um, but you guys may have seen these structures, that tree house, and that swing set. They're all getting mowed down very soon. Um, this property, my new my new house, um, it definitely wasn't perfect out here. Uh, with the trash, you know, you got structures that just need to be run down. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that in another video. Uh, this isn't really a house tour or anything. So I just wanted to point those out to you guys that uh, don't worry, they're going down. They are, they are ugly as sin, so. But yeah, things pretty awesome. We're gonna take it for another spin going through. Um, they did have trails out in the yard, so. That was nice. I didn't need to, I didn't even cut those in. They were already here. A little overgrown, but I ran them down. This thing's a freaking beast! Just in the middle of a swamp, no big deal. Dude, this thing is nuts. Let's go. That's where we came from. Definitely my number one buy. <laughs> this thing, I, I couldn't get it get over it, man. It was just going through that swamp all day long. It's definitely gonna need a bath now, but whew, the thing is built tough. All right, Kelly still isn't here, but I'm gonna try FaceTiming her, and uh, I'm gonna get her reaction on there. I can't wait to take. I can't wait to get the outboard on the back and. The, whew. I mean, I just had fun exploring. You know, that was probably like an acre real quick, or probably two acres. And I can't wait to explore the 100 acres, 110 acres, man. Woo! Definitely the best thing I've ever bought. Hands down, tractor, no, boat, no, no this. This is... Also, it definitely isn't 289 hours. Like straight up, we used that for like half an hour. That zero didn't even move. So that's pretty annoying. Uh, I bought the machine, hope thinking it was 289 hours, but Facebook Marketplace, you know, ah, man. Now we just gotta make sure we shut off the battery and she's good. All right, Kel, I know you're trying to enjoy your time at the lake, but I gotta, um, I, I gotta show you something. I got something for the baby, okay? It's for the baby. Oh, God. There it is. Oh, my. Every baby needs a tank. No, no baby needs that. Yeah, every baby needs a tank. If this thing, is also a boat. No. Yeah. Don't say no. No. It came in the mail, Kelly. It just showed up. Oh yeah, just like all my plants come in the mail. Just show up. I don't order them or anything. See, look at an outboard motor can go right there. It's amazing. We can go swamp diving together. No. You and the baby in the back. Me in the front. Captain with us. Winnie. Come on, the whole family. Okay. Absolutely. I don't have the tracks on right now, but it's basically a tank. I can't leave you alone for two days without buying a tank. I, I can't leave you alone for two days without you buying a million plants. False. Get rid of the plants or I'm, I'm adding. Are you wearing my purple Crocs? <laughs> I don't have any sandals. I gotta wear the Crocs. You know, my, my shoes are all covered in mud because I had to get out out of the um, the Argo and um, use the winch. So, yeah. You are unbelievable. You're never coming home, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, guys, so I hope you did enjoy this Owen Outdoor video. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss when I upload. It gives you a notification and everything. And hit that like button because this video, I mean, it's a little expensive because of the tank. <laughs> but we'll be doing some more videos very soon on it. Possibly taking it out to Farm Island with the outboard motor on the back, exploring my land. Um, well, this property, I guess, and also the 110 acres. <laughs> See you guys.